next video, I am going to be showing you how to implement Bootstrap the correct way into your wiki. And so on the wiki how to guide that we that my team is writing, email us by the way. Our email is in the description box below if you'd like a copy of that. We went over a lot of the challenges that come with putting Bootstrap on. And so I'm not going to cover all of those in this video. You can read about why it can be difficult, but we're going to show you how um, my team has overcome these challenges and how we use Bootstrap. And so I'm going to just take you through the step-by-step -step process. I have my wiki page left off how I had formatted it, use it in my wiki strip down. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is go on to my team's GitHub page, which actually is not up, so I will show you how you can get to there. And the link actually for our GitHub page will be in the description box below as well. So check that out because I put a lot of things that I forget to say down there. So it's loading. And a special shout out also to the teams Ohio State and Thessaly for requesting this video. That was very helpful. So if you guys have more videos that you'd like to see, comment down below, contact us, do whatever. So you'll see on our GitHub page, we have an iGEM Wiki Bootstrap. And, oh, I don't actually want to do that, sorry. There are two green buttons. So uh, what I want to do is download it. So I'm going to download the zip file. And then I can open it up. And you will see that you have access to all of the code files that we use in this video. And so for the sake of time, I already opened all of these so you can see here are all of my JavaScript files and then here are all of my CSS files. And so going back to the wiki I am going to start off by creating a new template. And so this one I've already been working with to make sure that it works on our page, but I have just a template that I named Bootstrap for our page. And so from there, what I did was I created seven more templates. And so I just named all of these Bootstrap CSS one, two, three, four, five, six, and then bootstrap JavaScript. And so once you create those templates, you have to save your bootstrap template and then you'll go back, scroll down, and now you'll be able to edit all of them. And so I am going to open all of these for you to show you what is inside. If you look at our bootstrap one, You'll see that it perfectly corresponds to what you just downloaded. And so all you have to do is copy and paste all of the files into your corresponding templates. And so that is just for the CSS. And so for the CSS, you'll save all of them after you copy and paste them in. And then you will have your six CSS files. The next thing that you have to do, and this part is a bit trickier, is how to correctly upload the JavaScript files. And so for this, I actually have 
going into our JavaScript, you have four files. So it's JavaScript 1, 2, 3, and then the template. And so you'll want to put this on your JavaScript template itself. And so once you copy and paste this into your template, like you can see that I did right now, you will actually want to create three more templates on this page. So I'm going to quickly do that. And so I am just going to call these Bootstrap JavaScript 1. Two and you guessed it three and so by doing that that itself isn't why there is all of this code on the page that is because I linked the templates and that is not the way that you are going to want to link your templates but then once I go in, I can open each of these, and inside each of these bootstrap JavaScript 1, 2, and 3 is where I put, I copy and pasted this exact code into it. So you will want to actually save each of these JavaScript pages after you create them, but then go back up hit the edit and then you're actually going to want to copy the URL of the open editing JavaScript pages and then I'm going to take this first one it's the JavaScript one and I am going to cop and I'm just going to paste the URL into the script source and then there's one other thing you have to do instead of edit you're just going to want to replace that with the word raw, R-A-W, like I did right here. And you'll see an example. You'll see all of that that I have done in the template. And so you'll want to repeat this process for Bootstrap JavaScript 2 and JavaScript 3. And then after you do this, you're going to want to delete these templates because you don't want to be linking directly to the templates and you'll see that once I've done that all of that code that was up here has now disappeared and then so I'm gonna save that and then that is how you upload each of these files when you're done with that you're actually done with the bootstrap you'll save all of your pages and then you have Bootstrap working on your wiki. And so I hope that this helps. I'm going to go, one of my next videos is going to be a more in-depth tutorial on how I linked the style sheets. Instead, you can't upload them like you would a normal image file, for example. And so I am going to go through with how I did it with the JavaScript files more in-depth later on in another video and so if you're using these videos make sure to let us know we'll add you to our collaborations list ask you how you like them what other topics you want to see i hope that these are really helpful for you guys don't forget to like sus subscribe and follow us on social media just so that you can keep up with what we're doing i hope you enjoy it and thank you very much for watching